Well, hello, good friends, and welcome to another edition of The Daily Word. We are in the Psalms this week, and I might have the opportunity to read one of the most well-known psalms of them all. It's the 23rd Psalm. Typically, I read this a lot at memorial services and funerals. I haven't gotten a chance to do many of those right now, especially with uh, all the restrictions around number of people and memorial services. And so I haven't gotten a chance to read it. And when I normally do, I invite the entire congregation uh, to read along if they know those words. I gotta tell you, many times they do. They know exactly the words to read. So I'm gonna read the 23rd Psalm to you right now. And I'm going to read it from the New King James Version. Yes, the King James Version. Are you ready for it? These are probably the words that you know the best. Let me say these words to you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's a beautiful words of hope in the midst of difficult times. How many of you have maybe recited the 23rd Psalm, not just at a funeral, but in times when you were afraid or you were scared? I remember hearing it read when we were all buried down in the uh, the, the bathtub at my house when there was a big tornado in our area. My mom just began reciting the 23rd Psalm. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. It was a scary time, and yet those words still somehow bring me hope. And the truth is those words, they transcend uh, moments from when you were a child at your grandparents' funeral to even today during the uncertain times of the world. Are you allowing the words to move and seep over you? Are you allowing it to reflect your life? One of the gifts of, uh, of ours as Christians is Uh, the message version of the Bible translated by the late, wonderful Eugene Peterson. And so I know we know those words so much by heart, the 23rd Psalm. It's healthy to get a little bit out of our comfort zone and to hear the words read in a new way. And that's what the gift of this message version is. This is uh, the remix version of the message Bible. Isn't this cool? My my now in-laws, Carrie and Valerie, gave this to me when I was in the senior year of high school and it's cool it still keeps with me and I read these words to you today this is from Eugene Peterson's version of the 23rd Psalm listen to the words in a new way God my shepherd I don't need a thing you have bedded me down in lush meadows you find me quiet pools to drink from True to your word, you let me catch my breath and send me in the right direction. Even when the way goes through Death Valley, I'm not afraid. When you walk at my side, your trusty shepherd's crook makes me feel secure. You serve me a six-course dinner right in front of my enemies. You revive my drooping head, my cup brims with blessings. Your beauty and love chase after me every day of my life. I'm back home in the house of God for the rest of my life. Did you hear anything new? I hope you did. That's the gift of the Psalms, is that anytime we come back to them, we have an opportunity to take something deeper and more profound about our faith from them. And throughout this month of June, as we are spending the summer in the Psalms, I pray that becomes a blessing to you. Don't just read the Psalms, my friends. Let them invite you into a deeper faith with God. Thanks be to God for this book and for so many. Have a great week. Take care.